With less than three months to go until the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver, we're catching up with the Olympic and World Silver Medalist figure skate pair. China is a relative newcomer to the international winter sports scene, and it wasn't until 1992 that a Chinese athlete claimed their first medal at the Winter Games. However, since then, the nation have become a force to be reckoned with in events like freestyle skiing, short track speed skating and figure skating. 2010 medal hopefuls are figure skating pair Dan Zhang and Hao Zhang. I think part of the reason for China's success is because of the coaches. All the leaders and people who taught us were very helpful. For us, we've always cooperated well with each other over the years, because we have had the same goals to strive for. We've achieved success because we've worked with each other for so long. We trust each other when performing, so we've achieved many good results. Amongst their successes are three silver medals at the Worlds, including this year's championships in Los Angeles. And it's their creativity which the pair have become renowned for. We're famous for our degree of difficulty. We undertake all kinds of lifts and rotations during daily training and work hard to improve the quality of each individual jump. This is something we spend a lot of time concentrating on. We need to make a lot of effort because almost every pair has very similar actions. But good scores depend on who has good creativity and executes these actions better. Therefore, we put a lot of effort into creativity during training. In 2006, the pair were going for Olympic gold. However, an attempt at the first ever competition quadruple throw salco left Dan Zhang hitting the ice and landing only silver. At the time, I felt like I had failed. The four years of training had been wasted. I had trained in vain, but there's no remedy because it's in the past. The competition has ended. Therefore, although we were not very satisfied, we learned from this, and it's something the board has experienced in each competition. Approaching the 2010 Winter Olympics, Dan and Howe are hoping to overcome any competition nerves which may have cost them in the past. Our success rate on jumps is very high during training, but we usually can't do as well in competitions. For some reason, we just haven't adjusted psychologically. I think perhaps we are now more or less used to this nervous condition because we undergo repeated daily training. As long as I'm enjoying the whole process, having fun in training and taking pleasure from the competition, then it makes me more at ease for the more difficult moves. It takes more than just practice on the ice to reach the required level. Strength and stamina are also key. Strength is a very high requirement on the male part because the man is the base. His body has to be well built and powerful. As well as good physical strength, it also requires skills. Moreover, psychological stability is very important during competition and one must be self confident. The pair had the skills and strength required to win gold in Vancouver, but they will once again have to attempt to overcome their Achilles heel if they're to succeed. Actually, there are many opponents, but I think the biggest foe is ourselves. We're the major one, because only if we successfully complete all our actions, we then consider our opponents. Mastering ourselves is, as usual, the most important thing. Recent injuries have set Dan and Hao Zhang back in their efforts to be Olympic champions. But with less than 80 days to go, the pair feel they're still set to push for glory. The 2010 Winter Olympics are the biggest wish now to make a perfect showing for both routines. We don't want to leave behind our mates and careers that committed to such a major effort as the 2006 Winter Olympics. That left us more or less in shape, and this time we want things to be different. We're very confident. That was four years ago, and now behind us. The new Olympic Games are coming soon. We're getting more and more mature every month. So I hope we can achieve wonderful results at the Olympics.